As we get closer towards the weekend, we have to keep an eye out for possibly some snow showers, but thankfully it's not rolling in just yet. What is rolling in though is all the cloud cover that went away at times today. You can see that all those clouds advancing back into the Midwest will continue to have them stream in into tomorrow. So we'll be back to the view we've seen a lot of over the last several weeks. Completely cloudy conditions going into our Friday. Leading up to that point though, the clouds do act as a bit of a blanket almost. So temperature is really not dropping off all that fast this evening. We'll hover around to the upper 20s, wind chill in the mid 20s. So not too chilly over the course of this evening. Later tonight uh, conditions are going to stay on the brisk end and then we get back to mainly cloudy and quiet weather tomorrow temperatures jumping all the way back up into the upper 30s uh, so uh, we do get a little warmer tomorrow thanks to a light breeze out of the south uh, resulting in those temperatures back above freezing and about seven degrees above average for this time of year then looking ahead from there, we do have to keep an eye out for some snow going into the weekend. Now, thankfully not picking up a ton of snow this weekend, but it might slow you down a little bit. Future track shows uh, the snow shower is kind of dancing around our backyard, so it's not going to be constant, but every so often we'll get some flurries, some light showers, especially on Saturday. Sunday looks a teensy bit drier. You can see that there's a slight chance for some snow in the morning, and then it looks to be fairly dry and quiet throughout the rest of the day. So uh, on occasion, we'll get, again, some snowflakes, might get up to an inch in total between the two days and just enough to cause some slushy spots, especially at times Saturday. So take it a little slower, but it's the kind of snowfall we've been used to so far this winter, where as it's falling, it starts to melt a little bit. So not expecting to see major impacts out of this. Still, though, you want to be cautious if you do start to see the snow fly around. Then next week, snow and strong winds are still in play. They are looking likely late Monday night into Wednesday morning. That said, still way too early to say just how much we're going to get. And here's a good example of why. Yesterday, a lot of the weather models had a lot of heavy snowfall right over us. Today, there's been a southward trend, so we still could get some heavy snow, uh, but there may be a south trend here. I think one of the last model runs that came in just before this had it trending back north, and that is why it's still too early to say how much snow could fall. That's why several days out, we don't issue those snowfall forecasts. So if you see them on social media, ignore them for now. We'll wait till it work a little closer to the storm before you start to take stock into those. Temperature wise, uh, middle to upper 30s next several days, including over the weekend, uh, looking fairly quiet on Monday. Then Monday night is when that potential storm comes through the region. After that, we may see additional chances for snow next Thursday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, that long range forecast looking chilly. We could be down into the 20s for high temperatures, uh, so we've avoided a lot of wintry weather so far this season. It might be catching up with us over the next 10 days.